Ryson. Anthrax. Sarin gas. Ebola. VX gas. Chimera viruses. Some enemies are invisible. But the CBRN threat unit is Rainbow's shield against those enemies that can kill you with a single drop of blood. Nanobots online. Big Brother are coming in for Overwatch. Or one wrong breath. ADS time. So in this specific example, we have Rush boosting her ally, uh, well, we have Finca boosting her ally. She will pick with the LMG to the window, she will get the kills with this increased accuracy. You see that the LMG that tends to have... Uh, we also boost your ally's HP by 20 HP, which is not much, but it's all across the board, so it's very boosting useful as well. Uh, this boost will also... introduce also a, a counter. So a boost will allow her and her teammates to gain a resistance to concussion. It's not an immunity, it will just reduce the time and the duration of the effect and the intensity of said effect. So that way if you push a bomb site and there might be concussion mine, you can actually... Team, it is not at all ying, it's not an immunity, you don't see it clearly through the flashbang. But if you want to push synchronize with your teammate, you can flash and be less flash than what you should have been and try to gain this gunfight as well. So obviously normally a flash <laughs> it is If you are boosted with this adrenal boost, you will breathe faster. And if you breathe faster, the smoke canister will affect you a lot more. And as you can see during the if you plant, <laughs> yeah. That is that is a powerful effect. That is Spot someone under the effect of the boost from further away, the same way you used to with the pulse of the old days. So here we're going to see Finca activate the ability and, and she gets spotted. She gets spotted. OG pulse mains. Stop it right away. The first one we offer is a lesion. If the lesion mine affects you, all of a sudden the poison from the lesion mine will counteract the effect of the adrenal implant and you will lose the HP, the bonus accuracy, everything you have. The effect of Finca, if you control the side, so if you get next to the Yokai, it will be able to stun you and this stun effect will remove the effect from the boost. So there you have it, two ways to actually remove the... Um, I think uh, Finca is going to be a, a really interesting addition uh, to, to Siege, but um, don't be fooled by uh, just the appearance. She's going to require a lot of coordination for, for your team to be able to pull off like flashy plays with her. Um, we've had extended playtesting with it, and it's you need to be talking a lot, and you need to be playing a lot with your teammates to, uh, to get things done. With, a, with a lot of coordination yeah. that you actually have to have with your teammates. We're going to see that. How do you think that's going to play out in Pro League, where the players are competing and coordinating on the highest level? Yeah, I think there's no doubt that we're going to see some Finca action in Pro League. Um, how fast we're going to see it, I, I don't know. I think uh, players are going to need to warm up to the new mechanics. It's a, I mean, it's a huge game changer. She has a global. She can affect everyone everywhere, and it's and it's not like it's non-negligible buffs that she brings. So, I think they're going to have to study a lot the interactions and how to coordinate attacks with uh, with Rush uh, with Finca. But um, yeah, I, I think she, we will see her. You, you mentioned this global ability. We've been talking about it. Is this something that you, as a game designer, is are really excited about? implementing into the game this global buff? Well, actually, um, 
we were we were uh, toying around with uh, how to um, bring healing on attack. And um, back when we were designing Capitao, um, his smoke darts actually uh, were at first uh, healing darts. And that didn't work out because the attack is always split up. And it was really complicated for the Capitao to, to go everywhere and heal his teammates. And so um, that's, that's, and then, and then we went to overheal, right? And duck eventually got that because that didn't work out on Capitao either. The overheal didn't work. And so duck got that. Um, but then uh, it's, uh, <laughs> Capitao got, uh, it didn't work out for Capitao. So we, we gave it, we turned it into a global. It, it kind of snapped for, for us. We were like, all right, well then let's, let's just make it with a device that everyone brings in when uh, Finca's there on the team. And so yeah. the, these are some of the ideas that you guys have been working on for a long time to really actually want to implement into the game where there is a, an operator that brings a lot of support utility in terms of healing up uh, operators and even reviving them from across the map, but also giving them, you know, this this more stable control over the weapon. Yeah. Which I think is really one of the most interesting aspects of this of this ability is that you can actually impact the performance of your other teammates, is that you can actually boost their performance. Yeah, exactly. And the whole challenge here is to make it happen when it's the right time. Because you're gonna you're obviously going to get if you're not if you're Finca and you're not uh, talking to your teammates, you're obviously going to boost teammates who are not gonna need it and it's gonna go to waste. And so it's how to make um, and it's how to be efficient with your team with Finca. Yeah, and Amelian uh, as you worked on Finca, I mean, this is a really exciting moment to showcase to the community. What are your, you know, how does it feel to showcase Finca for the first time? Yeah, it is amazing. It's a uh, craft something and it ended up there. It's, uh, it's a long process developing an operator like that. Uh, you heard both of us make the mistake of using the name Rush for her it's <laughs> because it's her dev name. And speaking of dev, the way we do usually is we place a lot of things on the table, we toy with a lot of things, and then we filter this to something very specific. It's not, it's not a, a very focused, it's no. not a very linear path. Exactly. There's, there's so many different elements that you guys are bringing into it. When we tried a buff, a global buff for Finca, we tried a lot of things. For example, something that uh, went out fairly quickly was, was buffing the speed, <laughs> which meant literally for, for speed ash. And that, that, that was the, yeah, we decided yeah. to remove this from, from Rush. And I, she I, had a, I think uh, the community would be really happy to not see that. Exactly. <laughs> and I think it's a good choice. And that's the way. Usually you push uh, your operator as, as much as you can with a lot of things. And eventually you say, OK, this works well. Let's, let's keep it. And oh, this do not work so well. So let's remove it from Rush. And then you, you craft her. And and then you get to release, and it's super exciting. And we get to see what the player actually do with what you made. Yeah, and as you mentioned, it's a lot of collaboration, a lot of coordination that players are going to need for Finca in the game. Uh, is that something that you guys really try and push? Is that tactical aspect of Siege that is so important? Yes, definitely. Coordination is important. This is a two element with Finca. Is you've seen that this is team wide. You need to be coordinated, and also it has super strong interaction. Like you need to know if there is a smoke. You need to know if there is a lesion. This is super important, and there is a reason behind it. As JB mentioned a bit earlier on the panel, we want to introduce something new that will hurt.